What's up guys, Carlos here from Blade Hack. Today we're gonna to be talking about something a little different. We're gonna be going over the new Rain V3 high top liner. And I'm going to compare it to the already skated V1 liner and the Shima liner that I also haven't skated yet. So, start out as a size 10. And right off the bat, it's definitely a a lot better quality of a liner than the V1. So just look at them side by side here. You can kind of see that the stitching and the concepts is pretty much stayed the same. The biggest difference I see here is the quality on the side walls or pretty much the whole heel up to the leg are reinforced in which the old liner they're only partially reinforced so that's already better. A uh, big thing I did notice though is in the back, I guess the heel cuff kind of shoots out a little bit. So what that's going to do is it's going to push your toes up front a little bit. As far as the, the bottoms go, they're pretty much identical. The tongues, the, uh, the new liner definitely has a higher tongue. As far as the back, if you did do a V cut, it somewhat matches that, but it's still pretty high up. And uh, just by putting them on, the biggest thing I noticed right off the bat was right here. My feet are definitely a lot tighter in the front than they are in the old liner. So you may notice, but the biggest difference is the height on the front of the liner here is what gives it that room to expand. There's a lot less in this liner and so what that means is my feet are, I have pretty wide feet on the front. They're squeezing a lot here. So I'm hoping that I can wear that in. But that is one thing I've definitely noticed is a very, very tight feeling right here. But other than that, it, I'm really excited. Like I said, I, I skated this one for six months and it I tore it to pieces, as you can see right here. I mean, every day for about six months. This one is so reinforced in all these places and just modified that I, I don't think I'm going to have that problem. If anything, this one will last hopefully two or three times the length of that one as soon as I wear it in. Now, comparing that to the Shima liner, which I haven't even skated my Shima yet with the weather, but that is part of the review here soon. It is also identical, so razors and rain, which we all know. The uh, biggest difference is it's a uh, leather type material here versus the uh, the reinforced uh, cloth here. Um, the tongues are pretty much identical other than the logos and the front is pretty much the same so again trying this one also I noticed that there is a it's tighter in the front with my foot so I'm gonna have to wear different a, a lot different sock probably a lot thinner of a sock um, and it looks to me also, and this is probably because it's specifically made for a cult, this liner is thinner material-wise than this one. This one's pretty poofy, pretty puffy, and it's got a lot more juice in the tongue because in the SLs and a lot of skates, you have a lot of room to expand. So I believe that's why that's like that. So uh, other than that, um, I've been skating a Razor's liner. Believe it or not, I got this Razor's liner recently from Roller Warehouse for $25. And uh, I'm pretty, I've always been a fan of the old type of Razor's liners just because of how, how they're very malleable, so they don't take much to break in. And at the same time, they got that big tongue in the front, which I'm, I'm pretty happy with. I, I just like the look of it and I like the feel of it. And it, with the Velcro straps in front, I think this is a Wakiki liner, it, it just, it keeps it from really going anywhere. So, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll test these out a little bit and kind of see how they feel.